Hey everybody, this is us again, Deep Water Fish. And Zadia. Uh, and this, welcome to Fine in Philly, episode 4. It's not really that fine in Philly, it's freezing in Philly right now. It's only the 1st of October. Well, I mean, at least Oktoberfest <laughs> is going to provide us some warmth. It's going to get worse. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Thank you. As if I have not lived in Pennsylvania. But anyways, so today we were just watching this movie called The Nature of Existence. It's by the same director called Robert Nygaard. He made uh, this movie called Waking Life. Which also, is a pre Darkly, I think. Yes. Which, The Waking there. Life is a prerequisite to watching this movie. So anybody who's interested, please do order Waking Life and Nature of Existence on Netflix. Nature of Existence is available for instant queuing on Netflix. Yeah. Anyways, so talking about that, we can... To the question that how... Is there a certain way of defining existence? Or existence in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be human. And... The point I am making here today, tonight, is that it depends on how you actually are asking the question to begin with. Like for any sort of scientific investigation, when you set up an experiment, you do have certain uh, parameters that you look into, and you do not, you cannot look into everything together. That's one limitation that we have. We cannot have all the variables be varied or experimentally varied. Some has to be remain constant. In that aspect, I mean in that respect, uh, exist the question can be viewed from two different sides. One is the metaphysical aspect which talks about the purpose of existence or aka do we really exist. Second is actually the physiological aspect of existence mm -hmm. aka our biological existence. So from my perspective what I actually see that is, is Physiological existence can be very easily defined as long as there is something functioning, as long as there are molecules interacting with each other, which is, which will result in certain metabolic or certain chemical reactions, which we define in the long term or in the long run as metabolism, and thus a metabolic, an um, an entity with metabolism is essentially existing, but from the metaphysical perspective, it is kind of difficult to explain existence when you can assume or there have been a lot of thinkers and philosophers and religion which talks about why we exist or what wh do we actually exist or not or are we is there a purpose is there a purpose or do we exist in god's dream do we is this even for real <laughs> i mean are we like okay, are well, we are we a petri dish of aliens but so we gotta abstract this conversation. I like how. Like, um, it's like okay. So the description you're giving is very detailed, but so we have to pinpoint the question. We did. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I you're think talking about the logistics right, of so the. Mm, yo, okay, all right. All right go all right. on, you talk. No, no, no. I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's not like that. I'm just I'm saying kidding. we shouldn't be I'm discussing kidding. the logistics of the. I think that's here. exactly what we should be discussing. The logistics of structuring the question? Yes, because the question is very important. The question comes before the answer. Well, okay, I just said... let it, Okay, let us rephrase or start from scratch again. Okay, so... This is like cleaning the blackboard. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so the question is, what is existence? Yes. Yeah. Uh, would you like to expand on your answer now? <laughs> Are you satisfied with the question? No, 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 no. Well, okay. Let's think about how we got there. We were okay. talking about the word spiritual, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And then I said that I claim to be spiritual not because it the word itself means anything to me, but because um, there is a certain meaning attached to it that uh, I have found other people relate to also. And these other people tend to have the tend to have similar um, ways of looking at things as I do, um, and then we started talking about whether uh, we can really know anything about existence, or if if we could make a statement um, such as that God exists or it doesn't exist or what is God and things like that. Can we? Could there be a statement? to make that we could believe in or we could um even in even if you think about science like mm -hmm. 
whatever statement you make is still just a statement. Whatever experiment mm. you make Wait, is just uh, no, a play I think, of form. All right, so, so in, uh, hold, hold on. The word statement, we're ignoring all semantics here. So please do not say that scientific statements have proof or backup or like hypothesis turns into a theory or something like that. It's just a matter of like semantics. So I'm confused. What are we talking about? <laughs> we are talking about existence. So essentially, this is an inquisitive episode that yeah. we'd like to present to you saying that what do you think about existence nice. i like this, I like yes. this because i mean nobody what really is knows existence? Yeah. and and we're not essentially talking about only the physiological aspect of it but also the metaphysical aspect saying that what, what is yeah what is it what consists in the most abstract sense. level what is yes. it what is it what is existence i mean we understand that matter is somehow um we also understand that there is awareness of matter we're all somehow awake in uh, this jumble of stuff um, but we don't really know what existence is just like perhaps we could say we know that we're made up of cells but you don't feel your individual cells yes you do so no that's not what I mean like I, I couldn't spot a single cell in my body and tell you exactly what it's doing at that moment but you have a general because idea no, no, what the cell yeah. is doing. no, no, but I'm saying I don't know my parts. Do you see what I'm saying? That mm, as I find so it very biologically dumb. Oh my god. So, as the Daria identity, whatever this thing is, uh, even though I have awareness and I can talk to you and I can behave as a certain mm. personality, um, and I even know scientifically what I'm made up of, how my cells generally work. But even though I am made up of these things, I can't pinpoint... Like, I can't tell you what this single cell's mitochondria is doing at this moment. Because I don't know. Um, okay. I don't I, know. I don't know. Well, I mean, I what mean, a mitochondria yes. does, its function has already been explained. I'm not... No, you don't okay, get I mean, it. I'm not, I'm not saying scientifically we don't okay, know. Uh, I'm yeah. saying from the inside, I don't know. But it's part of me. So there's a disconnect. Disconnect with my existence and me. So I cannot tell you what every single atom in my body is doing. I can't give you the states of the electrons that are in my atoms. Okay, okay, I get So internally, yes, I, yes, I, I don't you. know, but I am made up of these things. So if that is the case, do we really know existence? Because our experience of matter is sort of stuck in this uh, mid-level of, of, of being, like... Um, like a, we're, we're conscious of I don't know you can be conscious of pressure heat um, certain yeah exactly certain th feelings in your body changes yeah and but nonetheless that's not is that really what we could call existence but is it is the only way that we experience Define. existence through well, yes. Existence. I mean, but so, what is the... What makes us say something exists? When you perceive... Perception is existence. Essentially, that is what we're is it? pointing to. But, then again, mm -hmm. there is the case of phantom limbs. When you perceive you have a limb, which actually does not physically exist. Mm -hmm. Does that mean... Point. Does it exist? But you're perceiving it. But you're perceiving it. So, is perception essentially existence? Well, actually, but if you think about it, what you're really perceiving in that moment, or when you have a phantom limb, you're not perceiving matter, you're perceiving certain neurological symptoms that are happening in your brain and in your nerve cells. So, really, something is happening. Something physical is going on. Yes, well, that is the point. So, saying that well, you're... So, you never, you're never really perceiving your arm, even if you have an arm. No, but you are perceiving your arm. Like, you are sensitive. You are aware that you have an arm. And that's why your nerve cells act certain ways. Like, there is nervous stimulation coming... Nervous impulses coming from your no arm doubt, to no your brain. No doubt, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, but, but if... You can still, if you have a phantom limb situation and you can still feel that you have an arm, then your statement makes no sense. 
Like there's there, all of those things you just described are, are still going on, mm -hmm. but you don't have an arm. So I'm saying that the experience that you uh, had prior to losing your arm mm -hmm. is no more uh, legitimate than the experience that you have after because it's really the same experience. Well, yeah, that is where our... Internally, it's the same experience. That's what I'm saying. Like, that is where biological perception is put into question. So saying that does biological really perception yeah. mean that you exist? So we never really experience matter directly. What we experience is what... It's like a step above, like a more complex layer, the psyche, perhaps, if you could call it that, or... The mind. That's what we I experience. Think, yeah, well, I think it's not necessarily a step above. It's more like... You In do not, complexity, you do not, you that's You do not I mean. perceive... You do not perceive the matter itself. You yeah. perceive your interaction with the matter. Yeah. And yeah. that's what makes you think changes, that the matter exists. Yeah, the changes inside your physiology... Based on based the interaction on with that matter. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that is what makes you think that this matter exists. Like, yeah, let's yeah. say, for example, I am holding this roll of... Toilet, toilet paper, paper. <laughs> which is very random, but she has its own... Okay, anyways. Because I ran out of tissues. Moving on. The point is, I do not perceive... The, the point I'm trying to make here is that we do not perceive this <laughs> as the matter itself, but I am perceiving the interaction with this role of toilet too, paper. Dude. And that's why it makes me think what? that this exists. All right. Um, so the question remains is... First of all, is biological perception the same as existence? We should cut it too. Yes. Uh, or... Or, then, if it's not, then what is actually existence? And... And how can you know that you exist? What is the most abstract you could get with this? That's what I'm curious about, because I like abstracting things, so... And, finally, some words from our friend, E. Canaby, who likes to say... New character in the show. Yeah, who likes to say... Existence is chill, yo. Peace.